I'll be showing you how you can customize your checkout settings in Shopify, going over each setting in detail. So let's just dive right into it here. So from your Shopify dashboard, what you first wanna do is go to the left-hand side menu, and in the bottom left, you'll find the settings tab. You'll click that. And then from there, you'll go to the checkout section on the left-hand side again. So let's go through each section step-by-step. Step. Now to note, I will be ignoring the checkout style section as this is more of a theme customization, but it's where you can customize the logo, change colors, fonts, and more, but those should be defaulted by your theme. Instead, we'll go over the settings for this video. And if you would like, I can do an additional video on how to customize the theming style. But in terms of the settings, the first one we have here is customer contact method. So this is where you can ask customers if they want to give up their phone number or just their email. We'll leave this as email here, but you can do phone and email as this will allow you to send different SMS updates. So it is going to be up to you on what you select. For SMS updates, you will need to install an SMS app and there are plenty available on the Shopify app store. So I'll leave this as email for now. The next option will be to show a link to the shop app. The shop app is something created by Shopify that makes it easy for customers to track their orders across multiple Shopify stores. Next is gonna be requiring the customer to log into their account before the checkout. I recommend leaving this unchecked here as it's gonna add extra friction in the checkout sequence. Unless you absolutely need it, it is unchecked by default as well. Next, let's take a look at the customer information section. So you can customize what information you're asking a customer through the checkout process. First off, you can set whether to ask for the first name or last name, or just the last name. It's gonna help for your shipping purposes. So I would just probably put first and last name. As for company name, it's recommended not to include this as most of your customers are probably not gonna be corporations. Next is gonna be address line two. I'd recommend leaving this as optional. That is the recommended solution as this leaves a field for customers to input their unit numbers or apartment numbers. For shipping address a phone number, it's gonna be completely up to you whether you want to add this as well. Next will be the tipping section. So not all stores will ask for this, but if you do want to ask for tips from your customer, you can change between three presets or a custom amount that a customer can then enter during the checkout sequence. Next will be order processing. It's going to give you some customization on the checkout sequence along with what to do after the order has been paid. For these first two options, you should probably just leave these checked out is are gonna help decrease friction during the checkout sequence. So you can use the shipping address as the billing address by default. It's gonna save customers time so they don't have to enter it in twice if it is the same. As for address audit completion, it's gonna use data from places such as Google Maps, making it easy for customers to have an autocomplete when they're entering in their address. I don't have any data on this, but I'm assuming that it probably decreases address mistakes. I wanna take a moment to thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations on how profitable your Shopify store actually is. You can get detailed cost metrics as well as chart metrics. You can understand your store's true performance, allowing you to make better and smarter business decisions. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts, as well as plenty of cost of goods sold options. So it's time to skip those spreadsheets. And there's a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing. If you search Profit Calc in the app store, it's the Shopify app store, and look for this logo in the top left, you can find it there as well. Both of which get you access to a 15 day free trial. So make sure you check that out because there's not going to be as many spelling errors. You can also set what happens after an order has been paid, whether you want this to automatic fulfill or don't fulfill any order line items automatically. After an order has been fulfilled, paid, or when all items have been refunded, you can automatically set whether to archive it from your Shopify order section. In terms of marketing options, this is going to allow you to ask for consent. So you can either do email, SMS or both. And for email, you can set this as pre-selected. Customers can deselect if they don't want email marketing. Next will be the abandoned checkout emails. If you're not using an alternative app available on the Shopify app store or another email service, there are plenty available. Shopify can send an additional abandoned checkout email. Now these additional apps will give you much more customization on this. You can even send multiple emails. Whereas here, you can send them automatically, but you can send to anyone who abandons their checkout or only email subscribers who abandoned their checkout. You also get some customization on the timing. They have 10 hours as recommended. So next will be the post purchase page. So after a customer has gone through the checkout sequence and paid, there's gonna be a thank you page. But if you use one of the apps available on the Shopify, 
Shopify app store. There are plenty available there as well. You get customization on whether you want to upsell them or cross sell them on additional items. It's often a great time to do so as they're going to be excited. They just purchased something. It makes it really easy for them to one click purchase something else. Now I did have this app installed on this Shopify store here. And so that's why it's displaying there. As for the order status page, you can add tracking strip and other customizations. So this is mainly just going to be for if you're using different ad platforms. So this is a Google tag here that I installed in another video to help track purchases as this is going to be the final step in the checkout sequence. You can also add additional scripts for post-purchase page events. So that's probably going to be things like an additional purchase. You're also going to set the checkout language at the bottom by hitting manage checkout language. Once you're done with all these settings, there is going to be a save button in the bottom right or in the top right as well. So in a nutshell, that's the checkout settings. I hope you have a much better understanding now as I've gone through everything line by line. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment as well. I want to mention Profit Calc one more time, the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. There's a link in the description below to access a 15 day free trial. You can also search Profit Calc in the Shopify app store and look for the logo in the top left here. This concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out the additional videos and tutorials on our channel.